I want you to listen to a commercial. You can take notes on this. There's something wrong with this spot. I want you to tell me what you think is wrong with it, okay? I'm home. Oh, hello, Donald, my 33-year-old tall and skinny husband who I met in high school and married because of a pregnancy scare. Hello, my wife, Felicia, who lives with me in our house in Portland. Donald, you're too tall and skinny for the clothes you're wearing. How tall and skinny am I, Felicia? Well, if you stood sideways and stuck out your tongue, you'd look like a zipper. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need new clothes, Felicia. Say, why don't we go to Frank's Big and Tall Men's Shop, conveniently located on the corner of 3rd and Elm in downtown Portland, across from the Dairy Queen. But don't use their parking lot. Say, let's call their easy-to-remember phone number, 1-800-B-I-G-F-R-N-K, and find out their convenient hours. Okay, I'll pick up the phone. Now you're dialing 1-800-B-I-G-F-R-N-K. What's that number again? 1-800-B-I-G-F-R-N-K. Now it's ringing. <laughs> Hello. This is Frank's Big and Tall Men Shop at 1-800-BIGFRNK. I am busy waiting on a customer, as I always do, offering personal, expert, and friendly service. I have a tall and skinny husband called Donald who needs new clothes. Well, this is the right place to shop because we made our doors extra wide so he won't hurt his hips and extra tall so he won't bump his head. Great. My husband and I will be right over. Good. But don't park in the Dairy Queen. Frank's Big and Tall Men Shop is located on the corner of 3rd and Elm in downtown Portland, across from the Dairy Queen. Don't use their lot. Convenient hours, Monday 10 to 7, Tuesday and Wednesday 9 to 6, Friday open half days, Thursdays 9 to 9, and weekends the same, except during Christmas when we're not. What's that 800 number again? Big Frank without the A, B-I-G-F-R-N-K. Remember, don't use the Dairy Queen parking lot. Member FDIC, mileage may vary. All right, uh, those of you interested, get up to a microphone there. Uh, and uh, wh what is your general feeling about this, uh, Kamaru? Uh, yeah, okay, well, let's find out why it's that way. Get to a microphone and any opinion you have about why this spot doesn't work. Well, it was too long. Yeah. I, <laughs> very good. Uh, uh, identify yourselves for so everyone knows. Uh, Bob Sauer, W O R D F M, Pittsburgh. Bob, repeat offender. All right, thank you, Bob. What, what's your opinion? Uh, uh, Fred, Miss McKenzie, LA. They didn't say there was friendly, helpful staff. That's correct. They did not say friendly, <laughs> helpful staff on that spot. Anyone else have an opinion about that? I mean, I wonder a couple of things. Why did it take her so long to notice that her tall and skinny husband was wearing the wrong clothes? And um, the guy who runs the shop, gosh, he speaks slowly, doesn't he? Um, a lot of pauses in there. But you know all the... Re I mean, that's really a spot that's useful for reading the Wall Street Journal or, you know, taking a bathroom break. There's so many things that you could do while that spot is playing, mostly not pay any attention to it. And it's a sad state of affairs when you hear a commercial like that, and we hear them all across America. I do when I visit various cities. And I do my, I don't do my forced laughter. The person who plays it for me, of course, does forced laughter. But, uh, I, and I have to do it too, out of politeness. But they're really, really sad spots. And it hurts radio, not just the local station, it hurts radio everywhere. Because the people who, is, uh, who make decisions, major decisions, about using radio, the influential people who say, yes, we'll go with it or not go with it, hear spots like that and say, eh, that wouldn't work for us. Apart from it being too long, it's also very dull. It doesn't seem to have anything going for it. And we'll, we'll analyze it a little, a little further uh, as we proceed here. But I said it's sad be in the view of the fact that radio has the potential for getting emotionally closer to the consumer than any other advertising medium. 